¿Qué pasó, güey? It's your homeboy, Quetzalcoatl. Hitting your ass up with another video. Today's video, this is the post fight for Anthony Joshua versus Charles Buster Douglas Martin. Anthony Joshua defeats Charles Martin by second round rape. Very exciting fight. Fight had a good buildup. As you know, they had the little face off. And uh, Charles Martin came into the, came into the face off looking very confident. You know, he won the title off of an injury, but during the face off, you would think he knocked out motherfucking Mike Tyson the way he was acting. But when the fight got started, it was a completely different story. Anthony Joshua actually had a very smart game plan. Rather than coming in wild trying to knock his ass out from the get go. He was actually playing it smart. He was very patient. And while there wasn't too many exchanges in that first round, he was steadily landing that right hand. And you could tell that it, that it had uh, Charles Martin very uncomfortable. In the second round, same thing. You see Anthony Joshua start landing that right hand. And during that second round, Charles Martin is, is throwing that right jab. Anthony Joshua counters his ass with a with a huge right hand, drops him to the ground. Charles Martin is hurt. He doesn't look all that badly hurt. You know, he gets up, dusts himself off, and pretty much as, as soon as he got back up, he threw two consecutive right jabs, and Anthony Joshua just countered his ass again, dropped him to the ground. Charles Martin fell down like a big fat ass tree. The referee's counting in his face, and Charles Martin is smiling, but you could tell just in his body language that he knows he's going to get knocked the fuck out, so he chose not to beat the count and kind of complained afterwards, but he could have got up. You know, he could have got up before that, but I, I think that was just, you know, his way to get out of the fight. Very impressive knockout victory for Anthony Joshua, who becomes the IBF heavyweight champion in his 16th fight. 16 and 0 with 16 consecutive knockouts. As far as Anthony Joshua is concerned, he goes on to bigger and better fights. There's a potential fight with Deontay Wilder. You've got King Kong Ortiz. I mean, you even got Shannon the Cannon Briggs. Let's go, champ. You got David Hay who just came back. And as far as the following that he has right now, I mean, the sky's the limit in the ways that Eddie Hearn can promote this fighter. As far as Charles Martin is concerned, I know this is his first loss, but as far as I see it, I, I think that's pretty much it for him. You know, he's probably gonna end up being gatekeeper status. I think that any of the top guys in heavyweight will blast his ass the same way that Anthony Joshua did. Major props to Charles Martin, though, for winning the heavyweight title. That's something that not that many people could say. But as far as his future, I don't think that it looks too bright. I think he's going to get his ass whooped. And eventually, he's going to be working at Fernando Vargas restaurant, Fernando's Tacos. Uh, as you know, another heavyweight, Chris Ariola, recently started working there. He's the bartender. Uh, maybe Charles Martin can be working uh, the bartender on uh, Ariola's off days. We'll see, or, you know, maybe maybe get a donor shop application or something, you know. The sky's the limit as far as uh, what kind of uh, minimum wage jobs that uh, Charles Martins could take. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the fight. What did you think of Anthony Joshua's performance? What do you think of Charles Martin's future? Let me know in the comments section. And as always, if you like this shit, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This is your homeboy Ketsakual, signing the fuck on out.